Victoria from Talia's Nail Tales. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a tour of my nail studio. Uh, this, If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that I will be moving from this space at the end of the month, so at the end of January here, and I kind of wanted to share with you guys what I've done in here for the last two years. It's been my home away from home for the last two years. I spend a lot of time here with my clients, uh, not just with my clients, but working behind the scenes. Um, yeah, anyway, it's just been, it's been a really great space and I'm bittersweet to see it, to see myself moving from it. Um, I absolutely love the space. I love what I've done with it. Um, and I'm sad to see that go now that I finally got the space looking exactly how I want it. But at the same time, I'm super excited to be decorating a whole new space for for all of you to see, for my clients, and as well for, for me to enjoy. Like I said, I do spend a lot of time here. so. I wanted it to be a space that I was happy to come to every single day and I feel like there's not too many people that can do that with their jobs so I just kind of wanted to make it me, make it make it a place that I wanted to be as well as a place that was comfortable for my clients um, and also a place that I could just freely be creative in um, and I think if you work in a space that allows you to be creative, you're, you're going to be more creative. Maybe that's just kind of my way of thinking with it but Anyway, um, so I'm just going to show you guys a, a tour of my nail studio as well as a tour of like my waiting area out there as well. I've set up like a little um, steep tea corner for my clients to enjoy as well for me because I drink I do drink a lot of tea. So I'll show you that. Um, I also have like a little office space. The next room beside me is a little office space and I had tons of plans for that office space as far as decor goes um, and also for its use but now that I'm leaving it, I. I guess I'm just not, didn't, wasn't able to use it as, as much as I would have liked to have. But at the same time, I'm going to show you guys that because it's a super cute room. Um, ooh, I think that's it. I think that's uh, all I kind of needed to ramble about at the beginning of this video. So anyway, let's get on to the tour. I'm just going to give you an overview he view here. It's just my kind of waiting area for my clients to sit in. Um, this little back... I guess like storage room or whatever it just holds my vacuum as well as some of my like cleaning supplies and stuff um, this is my nail studio this over here is my office and then this over here is my steep tea corner I'll just start over here by showing you my little waiting area this is where my clients if they're if they're running ahead or I'm running behind or something this is where they can just kind of sit and hang out um, I just got these couches off of Kijiji and then the pillows that are on top of them I just got a Buclair the coffee table in the middle here I got from um, a lady locally. She refinishes furniture here and you can see that there she put like a little bling handle on here for me because she knew how much I liked bling. But anyway, um, I had this kind of design idea for her and she, she did it perfectly. Um, and then I just have to show you guys these little coasters. They're mirrored so you're probably just going to see my camera or something. But aren't they like freaking amazing? They're a little mirrored with like some bling and stuff. And then I keep just like a Nail Pro magazine if my clients want to want to read it at all. Um, the pink rug on the bottom I got from Ikea. This little uh, end table here or whatever, I, that was here from the girl who used to be in here so I just kind of kept it here. I, I was planning on getting something else but now that I'm moving out there's just no point. And I just keep my steep tea catalogs here as well as some coasters and then in this little bin here is just some magazines. So this sign here, the please remove your wet or muddy footwear, um, I had a girl locally make that up for me. Over here is my steeped tea corner. So my clients, while they're waiting or while they're getting their nails done, I can make them a cup of tea. This sign here, the same girls at Wall Stational um, who made up my please remove your footwear sign, she made this Talia's tea corner and it is just a vinyl decal um, made into a sign. Um, and it's chalkboard so I can I can change like the little message here whenever I want and now this little Storage unit here. I got from Ikea. It didn't come with this glass top. I had that glass top made But anyway, um, this little kettle over here. It is a tea steeping kettle So it steeps the temperature of the tea to uh, the appropriate temperature based on the type of tea that you're having um, Just some honey sticks and uh, I guess if you guys haven't already guest I'm a rep for steep tea so I have like some of my business cards and pamphlets and stuff here for for steep tea um, these kettles here are from steep tea over to the right here on the top here I just have some like little collections of the tea, steep tea as well as like a salty shaker um, underneath here I just keep some uh, bone china tea mugs that my mom got me 
Then on the bottom, this little circular thing here is some teacups from Steep Tea, but they're discontinued, as well as this like to-go mug. That thing I believe is discontinued as well. In the middle here, I just keep three baskets full of different types of teas. They are organized, but it's no big deal. This one here is green and white. This one here is black, rooibos, and oolong. And then this under here is fruit teas. Um, and I got the little baskets from Michael's. And then over in this cupboard here, I just have three more little collections here. Um, some spices and some soaps and stuff that Steep Tea also sells. And then I also have like a collection of teas down here. And then over to the left of that is my local business corner. This little mirrored console here, um, I absolutely love it, but it, its intended purpose was to be my table for my steep tea. Um, but once I unpackaged it and got it all set up, I just thought it was too nice for like a tea corner. I'm like, I don't want it to get all ruined or dirty with the tea. So anyway, I just moved it over here and then I made like this local business corner out of it instead. So I have um, a Scentsy Warm over here, a teapot Scentsy Warmer. Then I just have like a, a little business card holder over here to hold a bunch of business cards from some of the local businesses that I use as well as some of my clients' local businesses. And then I had like this sign here, this local business corner sign I had made from um, the girl at Wall Stational as well. And then this kind of bulletin board thing I got from Ikea and I just keep business cards that my clients um, for their businesses can just slide in there. Okay. And over here, just like, I guess like behind there, there's like this nice little back nook or whatever, and it's a great storage space, but it's an absolute mess because I'm moving. I would show you guys what it, but it's just an absolute mess. I had plans to make it like a nice storage area, but now that I'm moving, there's just no point. Okay. So then we're going to walk into my office here. Super cute little office. And I had some plans to get like a, a nice rug for the floor and like change this chair and get like a nice kind of storage unit over here but there's just no point now that I'm moving so this is just kind of how it looks and this is how it looks before I move so this is just um just a, a shelving unit that I've had like since I was a baby pretty much I've had that forever honestly it's just like a whole bunch of junk right here right now <laughs> um this desk I got from Ikea and it's the same collection that my steep tea corner set is from um that my steep tea steep tea corner is on um it's the same collection um the chair is from walmart like not a big deal it's i would have replaced it had i been in here longer and then over there you can see that i have a uh, alex drawer unit over here that my printer sits down um i was gonna fill this all up with some of my office supplies and stuff and i still will when i move into my new space but there's just no point in doing it right now on my desk i have actually i'll show you guys from this side because it's actually kind of a cool little thing um it's just like like I just store my papers and stuff for my printer on top of it and then it's got this nice little drawer in here and I keep all my receipts and stuff that need to be organized in that so that's perfect and then this over here is just one of those like spinny lazy Susan storage things and I had this at home and I used to use it for my makeup brushes but it was just it was too big for my makeup vanity so I brought it here and I actually really don't like it here either so I think I might give it to one of my clients who scrapbooks or try and sell it or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I really don't like it. Same thing. This desk did not come with a glass top. I had a glass top made for it. And I should mention my polka dot wall back there. I had the little polka dots made by um, the girl at Wall Stational as well as from a website. The website didn't come with enough dots, so I had the girl from Wall Stational make me up some, some more gold dots. Um, and then this curtain here I got from Yisk or Jisk or however you want to say it. Um, it's just like a white damask curtain and it, I had it shortened to fit a window in my old studio space. Um, but it works fine for this space now too. So this is my little office. Okay, so I'm just standing outside of my nail studio space here. So I'm just going to give you kind of an overview of what it looks like. My window my nail desk and then my nail art station immediately as soon as you walk into the right here I have this chandelier floor lamp which I absolutely love um, I got this from home sense and I believe it's missing some of the little crystals on it so I got it for a pretty good price and right beside that I have this IKEA bookcase and on here I just keep some of the products that I have for sale some cuticle oils um, some canvases here that I had done up of some professional pictures I had taken. Same thing with over there. Um, on top, I just keep a Scentsy warmer, a clock that I can see from my when I'm sitting down doing my client's nails, and my, uh, my Bose stereo there. Oh, I have to show you this. So this I had made from 
um, a nail instructor, a nail tech that taught some courses. And inside here, there's like little slots or whatever, and these fit the crystal nail paints really, really well. Um, th oh, the reason I don't have them in here is because I just kind of find, found it hard to have this by my nail station where I do a lot of art. It was just too bulky, but I thought it looked really cute in like a little cubby here. And she blinged it all out with Swarovski crystals for me. Yeah, so that's just that. And then in these cupboards here, I just keep some supplies. Down here, I just keep um, towels and those two bins. And then these two bins here are just extra nail art items. And then right there, I have a pink coat rack. I got this pink coat rack from Yisk or Jisk or however you want to say it. And then I have um, my aprons that I wear over here, my coat here. And then I leave all these hooks for my client's purse or coats or whatever they want to hang up. Then I have this really large window and these really pretty curtains. I got these curtains from Beauclair. Um, as far as the curtain rod goes, I'm not entirely sure where I got that from. I can't remember. Immediately to the left, I have all of my picture frames there with my um, university degree as well as my nail certificates. The picture frames I got from Michaels. Then I have a TV in the corner there and it's angled pretty good so that my clients can see it when they're getting their nails done if they want. Um, we'll watch Netflix on it or Sex in the City or something. Um, that pink DVD player right there, I got that from Target in the States. And then this little TV screen over here. I used to have my nail art pictures just flash by it to give people ideas of maybe what they'd want for their appointment, but I can't get it to update. It's just not working. So I don't think that's coming with me to my new nail studio space. I should probably say this uh, laundry basket, zebra laundry basket I got from HomeSense as well. So this is my custom nail desk. I had the top made, it's just like a cabinet top or whatever. I had this made from a local cabinetry place. I, I worked with them, they worked with me. It was it was awesome, they were great. And you can see like that little um, alcove right here. This was their idea and I'm so glad that they, they said that because they fit just like perfectly in it, it's awesome. So then the, the legs for my desk are from Ikea and same thing with like the legs over here. These are just the Alex drawer units. So I made the top um, specifically this way to fit those units. And uh, this pink chair that my clients sit in, that's from HomeSense. At my desk, I just have my business cards here and then this little kind of spinny organizer. A uh, nail tech friend of mine sent this to me. I couldn't find something specifically like this with all like the kind of small cubbies and uh, she posted one on Facebook and I, I asked her where she got it from and she ended up sending it to me. So that was super awesome. And I just keep kind of my most used products. So like my, st my black and white stamping polish, some scissors, my crystal glue, um, my gel polish top gloss, my matte top gloss, and then some other top glosses here. This is my crystal picker upper. Um, I don't keep my UV gel brushes in here. I just keep some other brushes that I use on a daily basis. And then these are my new bar UV gel lamps. And I just have to say that I'm insanely disappointed with these lamps. I've had nothing but problems with them since I got them. The company is actually replacing these for me, so I have the new ones and I'm, I'm going to set them up as soon as I get fresh new bulbs for them. Okay, and then this on top here, I had this made, actually, this company, Adorable Creations, a local business to where I live, they made this for me. They contacted me and asked me if they could make this for me, and I freaking love it. It's so cute. It just says Talia's Magic Polish, and then it's a little fairy, and I just keep this here, and I've gotten so many compliments on it. A lot of my clients have actually ordered um, pieces custom made for them. Um, based on this one so that's kind of cool and to the left of that I just keep this organizer here for all of my nail wipes um, I think I just got this from the dollar store I don't even know where I got it but it's a nice kind of square container for it I'd like to find like a two pack like one that was like two because I use two different wipes every day so anyway um, a pump with some uh, alcohol in it and then um, I got these pink towels from Target in the States when I was there a couple years ago um, this nail rest I got from eBay, I, I need to get a pink one of those. And then over here, I have another one of the new bar lamps, uh, a brush that I use to wipe nail dust off of my clients. Um, this is just hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works, and then this little like bling top or whatever, uh, they were selling these uh, at one point at Bath & Body Works, I'm not sure if they still are. Um, just a brush to dust off dust on my clients. I'm just going to take you around to the other side of my desk here so it's a little bit more to see. So I just keep the products I use every day on my clients. So a lotion, my nail prep, um, some acetone, which I don't actually use very often, but I need to keep it handy. A uh, nail polish remover, as well as a cuticle oil. And then this is my LCI and Super Shine finish cleaner. And this is my e-file. And this contraption here is just like a, 
a homemade vacuum system that I made. It works really, really well. I have something new in the mail right now, so I'll show you guys that when that comes in, but this has done me really well for the last five years, even though it looks super crappy. <laughs> Continue the desk tour. So I just keep like a cup and a coaster there for when I have tea. This little thing here just holds pins, and I just got it from like a fabric store. It's just got a magnetic thing in there. Um, and I use these pins for when I, I do marbling nails on my clients, so I like to keep those handy. This little organizer thing I got from Michaels, and I, I keep my forms on here. I used to keep my striping tape on here too, but it was actually kind of annoying. So I typically have another set of forms that I use for stiletto nails that goes in here, but it's right now the roll is too big, so it doesn't fit on there. I keep these little, they're like eyelash glue, I don't know, eyelash glue putter on her things, and I use them for crystal glue. And then I keep a dotting tool that I use for crystal glue too if I run out of these. I have a hot pink shoe tape dispenser. I actually use tape a lot in my nail art designs, even though I guess you don't really see it, but I do use tape a lot. Um, then I got this brush holder here from Nail Essentials. Uh, I can't even tell you where I got all these brushes from. I got them from a whole bunch of different places, so I can't really specifically tell you. And then I have just a polish rack here. You can see on the side, it's just a polish rack, acrylic polish rack that I got from eBay. You can find these on eBay or Amazon. And then I keep all of the paints that I use on a daily basis. So these are the Orly Instant Artists. And these are probably my favorite paints for a lot of different hand painting that I do. I like the formula as well as um, I like the brush. It's a really long brush on it. And then all of these rows here are different polishes that I use for stamping. So in these two bins right beside it, I keep my most used everyday stamp as well stamps as well as the actual stamping units in here. So right now snowflakes are really popular, so I have a lot of different snowflake stamps in here. I'll be switching this to Valentine's Day right away. This bin here is my like to put away bin. I like to stay pretty organized, but sometimes if you get really busy, um, instead of just having things all messed up and thrown all over the nail station, I just keep like a little basket here. And then when I get some spare time, I'll, I'll put all of these away. These are a lot of new stamping plates, so I need to find new homes for those, but that's that. And immediately to the left over here, I just keep a basket here full of fabrics, and that's what I use for the backgrounds of my nail pictures, actually. So there's a whole bin full of different fabrics. This unit here, all everything that's in here, there's a whole ton of nail art stuff in here. Um, I, I'll go through that in a different video. If you guys want to see like a nail collection video, just comment below and let me know. Um, pink garbage can. I don't know where I got that. I think I got that from Michaels. And then same thing over here is just another one of the Alex drawer units. And this one is my everyday product. So I keep like my gels, my files, my cleansing, um, lip gloss, like all that stuff that I use every day on a day-to-day -day basis is in here. I'll go through that in the collection video. Okay, and then over here, this is kind of what I see when, when I'm sitting down here. And I got these two units here from Ikea. They're again the Alex drawer units, just a different size. And I keep all of, well actually I'll just kind of give you a, a glimpse of what I keep in here. And I keep just like all of my gels in here and they're all kind of organized. Um, they need to be reorganized when I move, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this unit here, the top four drawers here are gels, color gels, glitter gels, and then the bottom two are used for props, my nail, my background props. And then this drawer here is just like all nail art. So. So to the left here, I just keep like a sanitization, um, my sanitization box, I guess, where I sanitize all my implements. Uh, price list here, and I got the actual frame at Michael's, and then the sign in there I, I made on Vistaprint. Here, this like acrylic kind of storage unit holds my nail wipes that come in like the rolls, and I got this from Nail Essentials. These two bins here are actually, they're full of brand new color gels from Light Elegance that I just don't have anywhere to put. My, uh, these Alex drawer units or whatever, they're completely full. So when I move, I'm going to reorganize everything and I'll put those in there, but they just don't have a home right now. And then I keep my deco binder underneath. This lamp here I got from Home Depot, I believe. It's just like a pink chandelier lamp. And then this little unit here is a pink acrylic lipstick organizer. And I meant to get this to put my Orly Instant Artists in it, but they don't fit. So instead I put my um, Martha Stewart and Recollections uh, big chunky glitters in here because I do use those quite often. So they're nice and handy there. And then immediately above that, I have four different polish, or actually, sorry, there's four different polish racks here and then one big one here. 
and on here I don't really keep polish I mean I guess I have some stamping polishes here but this is all nail art stuff so I've got some paints and some gel polishes there um, glitters there glitters acrylic powders foils pigments just a whole bunch of nail art stuff that I use um, quite often, I guess. I don't know. It's just there so that I can see it and my clients can see it too. And then this unit here holds all my gel polishes and then some extra acrylic powders there. This sign right above it I got from Walsational. I had that one custom made. As well as the sign behind the door here. And if I was staying here longer, I would move that over here because nobody sees it. I used to keep my price list hanging here, but I don't really close my door. So... Or I keep my door open all the time I should say and so nobody ever sees my price list or that sign so anyway my new space it'll have a better home so these wall plaques here I was featured in nail art gallery magazine um, twice back in 2013 and then this company contacted me asking me if I wanted wall plaques made up so that's what I had made up that's what those are and I should say my zebra wall there we go my zebra wall, I freaking love. It is hand painted. A uh, girlfriend and I, we got together and we painted it. We painted the white first and then we projected the zebra image onto it and um, we just kind of traced it all out or whatever. And the most annoying part of the zebra wall was that the black needed two coats. So we actually had to, well, actually, I went in and did the second coat. I sent her home, thanked her for her hard work. And then I went in with the, the second coat of the black there. So it turned out really nice. It served its purpose here. I've really enjoyed having that as my, my feature wall in my nail studio. I have something really fun planned for the feature wall in my new studio, so stay tuned for that. So I hope you enjoyed watching my nail studio tour video. Um, thank you so much for sticking through it with me. I think it was probably, probably ended up being a pretty long video. But I tried to tell you guys where I got everything from, and I will post uh, links for everything of where I got it from in the description box below so be sure to check there you're more than welcome to ask questions um, but maybe check there first uh, just in case I have posted it if I didn't say where it was from uh, yeah comment below and let me know if I if I didn't tell you where something was from um, anyway yeah thanks for watching uh, can you guys do me a favor and comment below with some other video suggestions that you have. I won't be doing any tutorials on this channel. I do have plans for tutorials in the future, but it won't be this channel. Um, but comment below and let me know maybe some some other videos that you've been thinking that you'd like to see. Uh, subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date of when I post new videos. And also check me out on Facebook and Instagram and I'll post those links below. Thanks for watching everyone.